All over the world. My names are Wefia Zanubuti Tumorifte. Abu Moni Sin Chuaji, Nubuti Tumorifte na Tempo. Ani na ba fa ba fa mireni, lokwazi alu Moni Chicha. Abu Kazi Moni Sin Chuaji na odena na Restoration Evangelical Mission. Lokwazi onye mbasi uzi odena nibo. So you can call me an odena evangelist. I will answer. My mission is to help people live better life. Today, no gawan case yoku. Today's topic is positive dreams you should not ignore. Positive dreams you should not ignore. Very important. But before we dive into today's lecture proper, important announcement. We are in the month of September, the month of festivals in the temple for children of the temple. Every child of the temple should know that on the 14th of September annually, we normally have festival of children of the temple and the Ewaji Obwe Fiesa and Uguchi is annual feast. We are expecting that every child of the temple must do or send his or her annual contributions, whether they are coming or not. It's very important. Then you can chat me on WhatsApp if you are not on the group WhatsApp. You have a part of the information. Then if you are seeing us, seeing me right now on your television set outside Africa, please chat me. I would like to know where you are getting us from. You get why. Then again, if you want to join us in our monthly rituals of September, it's still ongoing. You can join us anywhere you are as our fans, 
and the way wishes. Distance is never a barrier in all our spiritual work in the temple. So you can join us anywhere you are under the sun. Makaliket Kudurum Bakim. It's a sac group sacrifice for upliftment, breakthrough, and liberation. What we do is that if you are interested, if all your three prayer requests, make token donation to the account number. Then we place your prayer request on the temple, prayer request on the temple, making declarations upon your lives throughout the month. Like this morning, I have gone to the temple to make declarations upon those that join us for this month. On the last day of this month, we visit the waters with each of us to offer sacrifices and saraka on behalf of all. Then we proceed back to the temple to offer sacrifices to entities of parts, including Ajib, on behalf of all. We have lots of testimony, but as you all know, we don't share testimonies on social media. You know why? It's not necessary, not why we're here. But I can tell you, we have lots of testimonies. So if you are interested in joining us for the month of this month's sacrifice, or you have any question in today's lecture, please chat me on WhatsApp 0805 7837672. I repeat 0805-7837672. Let's now proceed. Or 0813-824381. I repeat 0813-824381. Now, as you are joining us, reaching us from Ezioku TV television. As you are telling people about our administration, may you be blessed. If you are joining us from our social media handles, you are sharing it, sharing the message, so that others will hear from the horse's mouth. May you be blessed. Let's now proceed into today's lesson proper. What I can tell you about dreams, if you have not watched our lectures concerning dreams, believe in me, you are missing a lot. In our previous lectures, we gave you instances how dreams work and what full definition of dream, what dream is all about. We told you all that. We made it, explain it very detailed how dreams work and why we human beings normally experience dreams. Dreams is not a bad thing. Dream is natural. It's the spirit's ability to get extract some information from the word of the spirit and pass the information to the word of God's material. This word your physical eyes see. So, but the problem people, how many people face today is that they don't understand dreams afterwards. They don't understand the meaning and what they must do after dream. So, today, we want to talk to our fans and friends who from time to time normally dream of good things, positive things coming their way, but they don't know what to do. And sometimes they don't even know how to identify good dreams when they see one. Yes. So sometimes at the end of the dreams, they become more confused. So there is some certain things. This lecture will not be long. So pay attention. Yes. So there are some certain things you will be seeing in your dreams. That is positive. Yes. That is positive. If you are seeing yourself in dreams, these things I'm about to mention now, believe in me, it means that you are receiving positive vibration as of today. Now, whether those uh, positive vibration will continue is in your hands. Yes. How to sustain it is in your hands. It's not to be on top that is important. What is so important is to sustain it. 
that is why even large companies like MTN, Coca-Cola, they, they keep doing adverts because and they keep remodeling. They still doing all those things in order to remain uh, on top. Believe in me. In creation, stagnation is not allowed. Stagnation is not allowed. Let me give you an instance. If you go to the Bible, you will see we are, they said in liberation. So you must make the belong somewhere. So to stop sitting in the only place. So today I want to open your eyes. Let the bandage in your eyes fall. Now, if you are having dreams or you have been dreaming or have dreamt before, where you are in a state of happiness. You are so happy. After that particular dream encounter, you will find yourself that you are so pleased. You are happy. Then, it's a, it's a good one. Yes. There are some people that we have dreamed to this extent that we can even laugh it out. As in, somebody that is staying with them with, ah, my friend, why are you laughing? It shows that the person is experiencing good tiding at that particular time. Now, if you are on the, in the dream and you saw yourself where you are in exalted position, you see yourself where you have been celebrated, or you see yourself where you are on a throne, Or you see yourself where you are uh, in the midst of the timbers and calibers. Or you see yourself where you are mm. maybe whining and dining with maybe a governor, a king, uh, a highly spiritual person. You see yourself in the midst of these great minds. It's a good thing. When you see yourself maybe having fun, maybe you see yourself in the in the water swimming and the, enjoying yourself having fun, whether in the uh, red uh, stream or you are swimming in the swimming pool, but you find yourself that you are happy and there's no danger. It's a true sign. Then when you see yourself maybe receiving blessings, maybe you seeing yourself counting bundles of money. Yes. Or you see yourself where you have been given a staff. It's a, sign, a good sign that all is well. Or when you see yourself, maybe you're a woman, you see yourself where you got married in the dream, or even a man. A good sign, or maybe you, you're a woman, you see yourself when you, you, you get bent, or if you're a man, you see yourself when we are your, your wife get bent. It's a good sign, it's a plus. Then, well, or you see yourself where you are being crowned, or you see yourself where. You are and the people are helping you, they are being celebrated, they have servants, it's a good thing. Or when you see yourself being promoted, it's a good thing. It's a good time. When you see yourself, maybe you bought a new car, you build a new house, or when you see yourself, maybe you are laying foundation for a new house, or you're about to possess a car. Or all those good things, or see yourself where yeah, you went for shopping, buying all those things happily, paying all these things is a good thing. Or uh, when you see yourself, um, things, other things happen. Maybe you have you see yourself in a in a dream. Maybe we are others have faced face calamities, and you maybe you have a uh, there is accident. You came out of that bubbles on heart. It's a good thing. 
or when you see yourself in a dream, maybe an elderly person comes to you with a dream, maybe he be giving you orgy, you know, or they be giving you a form, or be telling you, my son or my daughter, you know you are a great personality. I begin to tell you some stories of how great you are and where you will be in future. That you will be celebrated, prophesizing to you. Mm -hmm. Or when you will see yourself uh, uh, so wealthy and uh, maybe you are type T yourself, maybe in the pulpit, maybe in the congregation, maybe you are a place where you bless people, people are coming to you, you are laying hands on them, or you are healing them using herbs you know, healing people, the sick people, or you see uh, some pregnant uh, people that are childless and they are coming to you, you pray for them, give them one thing or the other, maybe halves or whatever. Within the shortest time, they began to give testimonies. Mm -hmm. Or you see yourself where you have this ability to heal people, even the sick people do come to you in dreams and they, you pray for them, maybe use one leaf or the other, touch them and whatever, they regain consciousness. Or when you see yourself as a healer, or you see yourself, uh, you reject as in you pray for people and they, they begin to manifest and, they, and, they, and so on and so forth, you know, they got healed. When you are seeing all those things, positive things, things of joy, things of celebration, or when you see yourself on a very you know, festival, where yeah, people rejoice, merry, for your victory, for your celebration, or yeah, when you see yourself being anointed or giving some kind of things as a tool for you to go and rule and dominate. Is a good, uh, good title. Now, when you see yourself in all these things, to, uh, to mention with few, but you see yourself in positive situation, things are, but they have, you have seen all these things. But one month, two months, three months, six months, one year down the line, those things have never come to into the right light. Yes, there are good deals. What it means is that that is good tidying in the spiritual realm in terms of you. Yes, you know that I'm here. That those good tidings are there in their favor. But the the thing is, what will you do to attract those good tidings in your favor? They are already there in the spiritual realm, waiting for earthly manifestation. Don't fold your hands. You must do something. In order to, to sustain the temple, in order to draw those things in the spiritual realm so that they will become reality. So they will no longer be a mirror. So what you have to do is to heat up the temple in order and to be consistent in order to be able to attract those longing, those wish, those good tidings, those good dreams to the world of the physical. There are something you must do. One, you need to remain steadfast. You need to remain positive. You need to re re remain consistent in channeling that yeah vibrations, positive vibration to the luminous height, to the to the light region. Because those good tidings, those good things, good dreams you have seen flows from the light region. So what you need to be, don't mind you put your hands in evil. Because believe in me, evil can never be got good. Evil is evil. Good is good. Don't think that you have overworked 
Therefore, you want to take your first nature or bypass nature. Believe in me, you will regret it. What you need to do is to always keep your longing pure. Keep positive longing. Keep positive vibrations by the way you live your life. That is the only way those good tidings, those good longings will come to the manifestation. That is what you must do. So let me give you a story. What happened to me? You know why I don't know. I normally like to use myself as an example that if I begins to tell you so certain what happened to others, you might be thinking that maybe it's fiction or maybe it's not it's imagination. No, this is a true life stories. I remember in the last eight years, if I'm not mistaken, about within eight years now, when I was in Abuja in my business, what I know how to do best then, business. So, that time, I carry the very new car. Are you following? I carry the very real medium front and back. So, that time, you know, one day I had to go, can do car. If you know some of those here, brothers that are going to mountain of fire, wedding, People like name them the village stuff they don't belong. If you meet no one, have a guy they award they will not eat. They will my They say no 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 no. Always fear. Even if they come for any very before you know it, they have gone. If you want them to stop coming to village, just small black stuff you know tie it with children, something tie it with wood. Uh, so look for small feather put on it. Who drop it in their door or their gates, they will never come village again. Maybe after a couple of years, they will flee. That is them for you. So that is the level I want there. So because I normally see village people as evil people. Sometimes if I'm coming down from Abuja, then maybe I'll pack my car in Atonisha, my parents' place, and then I will travel to the village without any car in order to hide myself, you know, some of those things. That is the mindset of the church people. They are too, you know, why one thing I like about what that will remove re 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 fear for you, for you. You know that you do get an archetype. What do you hear money when you give me? But you don't care. Hey, I'm not to do this shit. I tell you. So, but what I want to tell you in this story is that that time, Based on so many circumstances and what have happened in my life, I decided not to show myself in my village. You know, I went to another town called uh, Ogoto. I bought a land there. I bought a land about two plots there. I wanted to build um, a, a kind of room there. My intention is to build a big place there so that whenever I came down from Abuja with my family and we stayed there. That is my intention. So, at a stage, but before then, I had this dream. When I saw myself in my father's compound, in my father's compound, I was there. So I saw myself there. The compound became so beautiful in the sense that everywhere is well friends with gates, you know, small gates and big gates. And now I saw a story building there. I was like, you yeah, look so beautiful. So I opened the small gate to look outside in front of me. I saw two of my village people, two, two women. They were discussing, saying, ah, is it like, they, are, they mentioned my father's, that my father's name. That, ah, and, that it, and, that, and they were like, Joyfully, they are discussing. Say, ah, look at how this, and they call my late father, my father's name, Enyobi. They said, ah, look at this Enyobi compound now, so beautiful. I, it will be a ton of joy. I didn't even let you see our life now to see how this compound looks beautiful now. So I look at them in that dream, and I was like, I, I greeted them. So they passed. So when I woke up, I remember this dream. I just wave it because at that particular time I don't have any intention of any even laying a, a foundation at all. That time I was like, even if the 
open the house before and I'm not interested. I would have deserted everything. It's now I started, you know, doing uh, trying to do one or two for to maintain maintain it for a while. So what I'm saying in essence is that when that I saw that dream is about eight years ago. So I was thinking about another place. Without knowing that that time in the world of spirit, they have already made up my mind, their mind, that a day like this will be. That the day will be when I will be in the village, you know, upgrade everything and build a house here to my test and everything. So, and what I know why I told you this, this story is to tell you that sometimes before some certain things will happen in the world of physical, must have taken on form in the spiritual realm. Yes. So before you know it, before you know it, before you know it, I find myself in the village as I'm before. And before you know it, the whole direction changed. And that particular thing, he made laughter, I believe, be, uh, being defensive, finished building the house, that message came back again in dream and told me that that dream I had many years ago, today has come to fulfillment. Yeah. And those things, those women said in the dream, even some of my, my village will begin to say it. So what I can tell you is that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. Those things, I don't know what they're passing, passing through, passing through now. But I can tell you that change can come. What you will pray is for those things to be assigned in the spiritual realm. Once those change are assigned in the spiritual realm, and you remain positive in the right direction, the evolution alone will attract it. But note, even that time I had this dream of building something elsewhere. What I did is that I snapped out the picture of the kind of house I wanted to do, put it on my on my phone as a screen server. Every morning I will look at it. Say that this is exactly what I want to manifest. But the difference is that my intention is for that particular house to manifest elsewhere. But because of my life, they thought otherwise. So I don't know yeah. all those dreams you are seeing. And for you, you think that it will not come. Believe in me. As long as, long as you remain consistent, it will come. Believe in me. Unless if you slack or you give up. But don't give up. Give, <laughs> giving up, sorry, giving up is a coward act. It's not the, what is it? Um, obtainable with the champions. There is one thing I like about champions. Go-getters. Successful people. One thing is very common among them. Consistency. Never give up. Even if they try and fail, they learn from their mistakes and they will continue. That's why I love this, my guy, John Cena. His slogan remains, never give up. And if you are watching his, rest, his wrestling, see that he hardly give up. So what I, I want to tell you this today, Whatever dreams you have that is positive, remain consistent, never give up. It's your consistent mind which longer that you attract those things to happen in the world of the man, uh, physical, to manifest. Once you lack, you have loose faith, and the thing will never come. So consistency is the key. That long volition, we pull it to manifest the land of the world. So never you take no for an answer. I remember the story of uh, the man that developed the necessity. I think Michael Faraday had to consume. We are told that he particularized building, developing electricity 5,000 times. He will try, he fails, he continues, he try and fail, he continues. Just like that. And he achieved his goal. Do you think that those people that are successful today, they just came out one day as such? No. If you see somebody that have not built a foundation of success, even if you like, sow your land, sow everything and give that particular person will squander it. Not know. They don't know how to lay foundation. Yes. So whatever that is your dream, what you need to do is to remain consistent. And the way you are 
doing it and failing. You are learning the tricks. You are laying this uh, foundation. You are learning it more. And by so doing, you are getting perfect. Sorry. So what I can advise you that if you see those dreams, never you give up. Never give up. Giving up is a coward life act because me. But consistency is the key. Fruition says, and I quote, hard time never lasts. But last uh, tough people, as a tough time never lasts. But tough people do last. So whatever things are getting tougher in your life, remain strong, remain stronger. It pays. Now, if you see you might see all those things in dreams, why I, I gave you this small word of admonition is for you to be strong. It's not easy anywhere. These people you see that are successful, that there are people with strong minds. So whether they, they go in become tough, keep you be tough. Yes. So again, if you have been seeing all these things, but without manifestation, what do we do? Go and look for you go for me. Go and look for Ojibwe for me. Once you get Ojibwe, face the sun. You know why I always ask you to face the sun? Sun is a big case here. Whether it's morning, afternoon, or night. If you have stayed in the north or Muslim community, you will notice that wherever they face in the daytime, which is the east, is they will see face that direction, whether there is sun or not, even at night. Those prayers, they normally pray around 7. And the ones they pray early morning, around 5 or so, they will still face east. Remember, there is no sun then. They will still face. So east will remain east. So you can do it anytime. You look for Ojibwe. If you go where they are selling cola, ask them Ojibwe. Ojibwe is a special cola among all the pieces of cola. Yes. Get that Ojibwe. The color is always uh, different from other ones, you know. First, the east. Call your, call your forces, call your ismails, call your ancestors, call all those entities of powers that have anything to do with you. And at the end of the day, tell them, oh, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah. Hmm? so that no one of them will be excluded. Tell them that those good things they have in store for you in the world of the spirit, that in the name of Chukwo Kepremi, that you want those things to begin to manifest in the world of the living. Tell them your mind after talking to them in humility. Don't break it. Tell them, ask them to take their hands to break this cooler and share it among themselves. Then after that, after talking to them, look for a kind of 200 naira. You know why 200 naira? They are kind of money that will trigger a little bit joy to a beggar or someone in need. Now, use that money to teach a hobby, provide it over your head for that. Because let me tell you one thing about the secret of giving. Givers never lack. Whatsoever you are pleading, asking for favor for more, 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 use the other hand to give. Because that's here, you want to receive, you give. Are you following? It's natural law of principle. I don't want you to say you to do Saraka and do all those things that will cost you much money. For that reason, because Saraka is all about making people to be happy. Now, so what you will do is that 200 naira is for Ihaja. So that there is a need person. If you, if you are not in that condition to give that money, that money is not for you. There is somebody somewhere, maybe, Abrena Abuyanko, it's so tasty. Or you're so broke that you can't even get uh, uh, even biscuit. 200 naira is not okay for you. Yeah, that money is not for you. Somebody that that money is for. Once you see that money, if you see the happiness that will come to the person's mind, the person will uh, take money. Oh, it's okay. Can I can't drink my coffee. Drink with anger. That anger, that happiness that triggers in the person's mind, is what does the miracle. So, what I can tell you is this. Whenever you are doing all this kind of thing, after doing it, take it to Johnson and drop it, then drop like that small token, as can it might be. Don't drop anything less than 200 because Nigerian money now is very useless. So, drop something that can buy something for somebody. 
by so he will make the person to be happy. If you can drop more better, let me stop here. If you have questions in today's lecture, or you want us to do deep consultation for you, chat me on WhatsApp 0805 78 or 0813 See you tomorrow, no I will always get you a I'm a channel, you go, man. Remember, bless.